let us uh, now look at uh, another interesting one on this uh, sample workflow uh, which has come with Oracle Apex. This is much more interesting one. So if you look at it, there is an employee appraisal as well. So uh, I mean, if you look at the employee appraisal, so the manager has to initiate the appraisal process, whereas in the laptop and all, it was uh, actually the um, ideal to sell service. The employee will, uh, whoever wants a laptop, will initiate the laptop request or bank change or whatever it is. And that's why um, they are authorized to do. Whereas uh, for appraisal, on the time of appraisal cycle, the manager has to initiate it. For example, uh, if you get into uh, BO, when you log in as BO, um, you will see in the employees, not all will have the appraisal. Only the reporting persons like Jane is reporting to BO, so he has the appraisal. And I think um, Jane and a few other, Pat has the appraisal because all of them are reporting to BO. Steve has the um, Steve, and then you have Jane, uh, then you have as well, uh, one more person was there. Uh, who is it? Pat is there, and Steve, Pat, Steve, and Jane. So, yeah, uh, and uh, if you log into, um, say, for example, um, uh, Miller, so he doesn't have any reporting. So he doesn't uh, have any of the reporting uh, when you log in as uh, Miller. You will not see the appraisal at all for him. And uh, for that matter, if you log in into um, uh, as King, uh, maybe he is uh, the top, so probably as a president, and uh, he can initiate uh, almost uh, all of them. You see appraisal uh, as well. And if you look at the appraisal as such, uh, it's one of the most complex compared to the other one uh, for the laptop. If you look at um, the shared component over here for this application, there are two workflows. One is for the laptop and other one is for the uh, employee. And uh, employee appraisal, um, if you look at it, the diagram as such, uh, uh, you see this one appraisal uh, originated and um, then you have self evaluation evaluation appraisal submitted manager appraisal manager submitted and many of them um, some of them will call the back end procedures um, this one to start with it will call the back end procedure package dot procedure update uh, um, appraisal status and uh, some of them will call the uh, the action uh, the the task action this is a task action and manager this is again a task action determine again uh, manager submitted vp required uh, and again vp review should be this is again um, the task um, action so if you look at uh, the shared components um, again the task definitions you see three of them uh, related to a task starting with the employee uh, input it starts off with employee input and then uh, it has the others as well manager input and appraisal review as well so you have a backend uh, and you have backend in the sense you have the task actions and uh, you have a workflow so this is a kind of a, a complex one so good to analyze study how it works with this sample uh, application uh, and uh, if you look at uh, the starting point, um, this will be from employee um, appraisal. It start off uh, with a workflow employee. This is where it gets started. Employee appraisal workflow start. So if you look at it uh, in this one, it is by click of uh, submit uh, button, which what happens is uh, um, it uh, actually uh, enters a uh, data into this table it enters the data uh, submits um, a data into this stating it is originated the appraisal process is originated and it gets into an entry and then as we progress on the workflow each of the task actions three of them is um, are there initially employee self service and then the manager and then the vp 
so each of them uh, will get the task action will get initiated through the workflow so it's a combination of a workflow and a multiple task action so it's good to um, decode and understand as well okay let's uh, i mean look at how this works so let's uh, log in um, we will uh, get into blake because he has about uh, one two three four and five five reportees to blake so we will uh, log in to blake and probably we will initiate uh, a pricel for james and uh, see what happens login as blake go to employees and what we thought was yes james uh, is there as for appraisal and um, then there are others as well alan as the appraisal some four five were there i could spot uh, alan as we could spot for james uh, could spot for martin uh, who else uh, martin james uh, probably um, if it is uh, already been tried out it would not uh, uh, appraisal cycle is already tried out then it might not come um, so yeah what is also there so what we'll do is for james uh, so uh, when the, when he initiates for james that is we are lo logged in as blake and we'll initiate uh, this appraisal for james and when james enter he should be able to see that in his task so uh, appraisal request for appraisal uh, we will leave it as such that is jan 24 to december uh, we will leave it as such we are not going to do anything and uh, we say submit and now uh, because james is there we will log in uh, you don't see it over here because we already initiated and um, um, uh, one more thing is um, if you look at uh, James um, when it is initiated take a look at uh, the object browser uh, I think uh, it should say initiated into that table um, uh, into the table uh, data you get into the data for James just watch out for James yeah this is uh, originated this is the one uh, this is uh, of course the employee number is over here if you want yes employee number is uh, 7900 7900 7900 okay 7900 is james so we got that so it says there is an entry as i said when it gets submitted it says originated and yes it will progress this table will get uh, updated for each and every status when it gets uh, um, when james if you look at it when james sub, uh, submits his uh, pr appraisal entry it will go to submitted then manager submitted and finally when it gets complete approval the workflow will status uh, will complete will go to completed and uh, now uh, we will sign out and get to James, uh, there is James. Login as James, and then uh, I think my task. Yeah, your appraisal. Please complete your review. Initiated by Blake. So now, um, if you see, uh, probably achievement. I will just say best awarded best employees, and this all gets tracked. Uh, you will see that in the table as well avoided as the best employee for the year employee for the year um, and what should be myself maybe certification in oracle apex uh, okay and um, if you say complete it should go to the next status evaluation saved and uh, if you go back here uh, yeah whatever is the entry whatever we have made it has gone into the table this was of course initiated by the task action that it initiated the task action and uh, it has gone into submitted and you can also see that um, get into because login information i think pat will be the work 
you can see that Pat is the workflow and task administrator. I log in as uh, Pat and get to workflow status. It is still act because um, it is still manager has to complete. So if you look at um, the workflows, yes, appraisal, manager appraisal, uh, all green, you'll see that. So workflow is progressing. So next the manager will be there. Um, and uh, once manager it determines the VP whether required or not. And there are some um, uh, at the VP stage while testing, I found out a little bit of error is there. Uh, when I did with James, probably the coding or something is messy during the VP stage. Nevertheless, yes, it's a good for understanding. Of course, the sample application uh, need to be tested completely. So if you see the workflow, the next one uh, is the manager. So again, you can also uh, get to Blake and see Blake login as Blake. My task. Yeah, evaluate James. So he has provided the details, uh, and uh, you can award the best. So you all see this. Um, as always, uh, manager <laughs> will not. You still wants to drive the employee and say that uh, yes, um, probably yes. Still, I want you to take up companies take up or participate participate in various company initiative typical of the managers initiative and then i will also say response needs to be any response to customer need to be any response mm needs to be quick without any escalations to top maybe you say example on that day there was some um, blah 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 example on 23rd September there was an escalation and you didn't take initiative that I don't need to see so all this uh, you can mention yes more certification and more initiative certification and uh, more initiative or whatever you wish all this and then say complete so this is done as well and now if you look at uh, this one so now you say manager um, submitted has come because Blake has done and whatever his uh, note uh, that is all has been entered here and this will be based on the next task action so if you look at uh, the workflows, maybe you get into, um, I think uh, it was Pat, right? Yeah, Pat as the workflow administrator. You can see that further uh, workflow status, still active. And uh, it has gone into VP review. Required, it says yes. Um, uh, it should go. Now let's uh, log in uh, as King and see whether uh, the James uh, appraisal has come to him from James. Blake initiated, went to James and James uh, submitted back and Blake had put uh, his uh, commands and uh, let's see whether it is available for King. Um, my task, yes, it has come to a review evaluation for James initiated by appraisal VP review. Um, I concur, okay. Um, okay, uh, he does. He doesn't have anything to provide. So I'll say um, he has gone through it, and if he says uh, complete evaluation saved, and now uh, let's see what happened to the workflow login as uh, Pat and see the status workflow status uh, workflow status. Yeah, it's completed. So the um, this one, if you look at it, uh, it has gone through the workflow and it called the different uh, task actions to complete it. Uh, and you can evaluate the task action. Where do you go and evaluate? In the shared folders, uh, I mean, in the shared components, um, you can do that. 
and uh, you can also get into i mean just to understand you can always uh, go into the particularly this is all related to these two that is employee request employee appraisal and self appraisal details and this is where all of them will be um, starting where the the details getting submitted into initially into the table initially into the um, table this is what is the table and when does it get this is when they click on the button submit and uh, the it starts with the workflow and it progresses with the workflow and calls the appropriate um, task action as well and it completes so this is a kind of a good example or a sample application through which you will once you have uh, done an initial uh, work with a simple task action you can then build upon it with incorporating different task action multiple task action and with a workflow as well i hope this was useful thank you and cheers